What's up, you guys? This is Abe, and this is an update to my car. Uh, problems that I had: brake master cylinder didn't work, had no brakes. Um, had a a cooling leak in the expansion tank. I changed it, and I also changed the power steering lines, the one that connect to the reservoir, and I did an oil change. So let's start with the power steering lines. Um, there were two. Um, I bought them from the dealer. Problem is, one of them was from the car and the other one wasn't. This is the other one that the dealer gave me. It's supposedly connected to the uh, reservoir, to the little tank. And it turns out it's not from this car. So I don't know what to do right now with that line. Um, I bought it like four months ago. I lost the receipt. Uh, this was something that I had to go really, you know, immediately to tell them, like, you know what, this, this line doesn't fit in the car. So I'm not not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, as of right now, the car has brakes, and let me show you guys <clears throat> the brake master set that was replaced. Which was the one that's under the little tank. This right here, it was replaced, and my car has brakes now. So this is the coolant. Close to the hood now. <clears throat> so kind of like a brief of the update of how the car is. Pretty much, I got it um last Thursday, and it was fine. Everything was good, but now, um, I want to say like. An accident happened somewhat because I, I did the oil change and the um, oil filter and I took it to the mechanic and and I guess like I want to say it's an accident like it wasn't him like because I feel it was him <laughs> but I want to say it was an accident like he moved one of the cooling lines or something or like a little at the moment when he was changing the oil filter that's what I want to say that's the best explanation I have because like I did the change it's not far from where I live. It's like literally in cars like five minutes away where the mechanic is at. So like once he changed it, I brought it home. I was going to go with out with a friend. Um, I was going to go pick him up like in another town, which is like 40 minutes away. Um, so pretty much um, like 10 minutes from my house, like immediately the fucking the... I think it's called the thermometer in the car, whatever it's called, just skyrocketed from like 90, it's in Celsius, it's not in Fahrenheit, to like 100, to the, and then it just kind of went up. I immediately pulled over, and <clears throat> I was like, what the fuck's going on? And there was like the leak, which was right next to the oil filter, like a line around there. I want to say it's like from the thermostat or some shit like that. I'm not sure. Hopefully it's nothing huge, but it's an issue, like. I want to say it was, like, after he changed, like, he accidentally moved something. I'm I'm just, I don't want to say I'm, like, he did it intentionally. I want to say it was an accident, but that's, like, the best because it's kind of weird. Like, the whole morning I was driving, no problems. The three days, no problems. And it's just kind of weird how I just took it, came back, you know, five minutes, ten minutes in the in driving, and the problem immediately showed up. So it's kind of an update. Um, another thing is the oil. Uh, let me show you guys. I did an oil change. As I was telling you guys. Um, this is the oil that I got. That is the 10W40 um, Castro. Um, I want to say it's not full synthetic. It is like synthetic with additives or some shit like that. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna get the last time I did the oil change. It was like uh, from Mobile One or Mobile One. Um, but it was like the really expensive shit and it came out to like 60 bucks the whole service which was <laughs> yeah it was pretty expensive and right now I have a lot of money I'm actually not broke 100% but I'm getting there and I just said fuck it you know I started investigating and you know I'm, I was like this car needs to have like looking at the OEM 
specifications and it's just, it needs to have uh 5w40 which is fucking expensive and like to be honest i couldn't find any from castro after investigating like i saw a couple of people putting uh 5w30 castro was gonna put that one but like i guess like the 10w means something like the viscosity in the winter or some shit like that and the 40 is like during like once it's heated up I want to think it's something like that. Like I'm not, I'm not too sure, but I put this this kind of oil on it. So let's see how that happens. Um, also, the mechanic kind of fixed my the radio. As you guys remember, it didn't work. Now it works. Let me turn it up. So that was pretty cool of him. Right now, I'm kind of once again I'm kind of frustrated because I had like three days with the car and I was like fucking happy as fuck, you know, excited. And once it gets this shit, like, it's kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Like, it's getting kind of embarrassed to a point where it's, like, problem after problem after problem. It's like, fuck, man, like, I'm, I'm really fucking starting not to get, in, like, extremely annoyed or, like, you know, immediately. But I'm actually contemplating selling the car. Um, it's just too much problems. And it's kind of embarrassing, like, especially, like, in, in my Mexican culture or... or like, the way, like, society functions here is that you're just, just kind of like a you stupid and shit. Like, like that's kind of the norm. If you fucking, you know, you start fucking up a lot, they just look at you like you're a fucking moron and shit. And the same thing goes with the car. Like, it's been problem after problem. My family's already kind of, like, you know, started telling me, like, hey, what the fuck's up with the car and shit? Like, you're having, like, problem after problem. Like, I'm kind of, like, ashamed to tell my mom, like, the problems I'm having. I'm spending too much fucking money in this car. Like, I want to be honest with you guys, and, like, 70% of what I make um, goes to the fucking car. Like, the reason, like, for example, like, right now we're in spring break and shit, and I didn't even go out on vacations. Why? Because of the fucking car. So, it's kind of, like, it's just fog. Like, I think yesterday was kind of, like, when the whole problem happened was, like, the point of, you know, kind of, like, you know, let's check into reality and shit. You know, I was going to go see a friend, like, and it's kind of embarrassing. Like, I'm five fucking ten minutes away, and I don't know where the fucking oil leak, or, I mean, the cooling leak just started happening and shit. And it's kind of like, fuck, there it goes again. I had to fucking, you know, immediately pull over, look for a fucking telephone, because I have no phone. Like, why don't I have a phone? The same fucking bullshit. Like, I can't fucking, you know, I prefer to spend money on the fucking car instead of having a fucking phone. <sighs> And it was just fucking embarrassing, you know. I had to call him. He was waiting for me and shit. And it's just like, yeah, dude, I can't make it. And it's like, and it's like this reason of fucking car and shit. It's like, what the fuck? Like, you know, every time they kind of tell me like, oh, let's go out and shit. Or let's go fucking party and shit. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I can't because I'm fucking saving enough to do this with the car. I'm saving. So, like, I, I just need to look, really need to, like, look in with the reality. Like, I love the car. I love it. You know, the moment I saw it. Like, it was, I don't want to say it was my dream car, but it's a car that, you know, that I love. Like, I immediately fell in love with it and shit, just looking at the fucking video of it. Mm. This kind of, like, about it. Um, <sighs> what I'm going to do is wait until winter. If there's still problem after problem, like, I'm going to pay off the car in winter. Because I took it out in a loan. But I'm going to finish paying it in winter. If there's still problem after problem after fucking problem. Then I'm gonna have to really consider selling the car. It's just fucking. It's just. It's just not really fucking working out. Like I gotta be honest with myself, and and it is what it is. So, you know, right now, like I called the guy, called my mechanic, told him like what happened and shit. I told him like maybe it was an accident. You know, I'm I'm gonna be honest with him. I'm gonna fucking tell him like it just seems kind of strange how fucking I've been driving the whole day and I take it to him. He does the oil and like. And he kind of like fucking like during he kind of burned himself three times. So he was like, fuck that shit. And, you know, five minutes like driving after that shit, like it just fucking this happens. So, you know, hopefully it's it doesn't have like like I'm not mad at the mechanic, even if it wasn't because it was an accident at the end of the day and shit. Like if he if I'll probably be mad if it's fucking, you know, if, if the thermostat doesn't work anymore or the cooling flinch, then I don't be fucking pissing shit. So, uh. This is kind of just it and shit, so uh, this is Abe and uh, see you guys later and shit.